One of the most important things that you can do is maintain your spine angle through the strike. And it's one of the biggest problems that I see when I'm teaching my players and I'm watching uh, amateurs struggling. You at home, you need to keep your spine angle. Now, I want to give you an idea and an image on how you're going to do it. First, here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine that this CD that's around my neck is a flashlight. And that flashlight is on just like this. Now, when I'm making a proper golf swing, and when you watch players at elite levels making proper golf swings, what you're going to see is you're going to see their chest pointing down to the ground as they swing through the shot. And then ultimately, the chest is going to end up pointing towards the target. What I see so many of you at home doing is your chest does a pretty good job in the backswing. But when you start to come through, now all of a sudden, that flashlight starts pointing up into the air. It's pointing over here, and it never points to the target. That's got to change. Turn the flashlight off, and I'm going to grab this six iron. Now, I want you to imagine that this CD is that flashlight. And what I want you to do, and what you need to do to improve your strikes, gain distance, and consistency is keep this flashlight pointing down to the ground and then ultimately to the target. The angle of the chest, one of the most important angles in the game of golf. And elite players do this and players that struggle, you at home, you're not doing this. Here's what you're going to do. In the backswing, at a dress, you're going to feel like your chest is pointing down to the ground. Don't just round your shoulders. I can round my shoulders and my chest can be pointing over here. I want to create this angle so that at a dress, my hips are back here. My shoulders are on this side of the center line. So let's call the center line my toe line. And I've got my chest and shoulders over here. I've got my, uh, my rear back over here. Now what I'm going to do is... In the backswing, I'm going to maintain that same relationship. And then when I come down, I want to continue to maintain that relationship. Shoulders are over here. Hips are over there. Chest is down to the ground. So that would look like this. Good strike. When I'm done with my strike, by the way, you can see my right shoulder now is lower than my left shoulder. That's an indication that my chest has stayed pointing to the ground. When you get to where your shoulders are at the same level through the strike, chances are that you exposed your chest to the sky instead of pointing down to the ground. The flashlight's pointing up instead of pointing down and you start to lose that strike. So, we get this image. Chest down, chest down, rotating, flashlight pointing down to the ground at the strike, flashlight pointing down over here through the shot, Flashlight pointing to the target. Bring that golf ball in there. Set up. Shoulders are on this side of the toe line. Rear's on that side of the toe line. Good setup position. Good address. Good angles. Right shoulder's lower than the left shoulder through the strike. Golf ball has a good apex. Does it cabin? Oh! Just a little to the right. Now we come over here and we look at some things that are really important in being able to be consistent. And one of them is where the ball starts and the other one is how much spin are we creating on this shot. So we look at the start line, the horizontal launch, 1.4 degrees to the right. That's very good. If I'm in between two degrees in my start lines, I'm doing great, either right or left, doing great. And then the second thing is the amount of spin that we get on the ball, or side spin as we call it. And on my side spin here, only 47 RPMs of left spin. What does that mean? That means that my golf ball started slightly to the right of the target and had just a slight draw to it. Not a lot, just a slight draw. So a very consistent distance I got, also 175 yards out of that strike. Let's do this one more time so you can see how this works. And again, you're thinking about in your pre-swing getting set up so that your shoulders are on the target line side of the toe line and your rear is away from that. This is going to counterbalance you and so you're going to feel your weight distribution in your feet properly. And then from here, now all we're doing is feeling that chest really staying down to the ground 
And when you come through here, now it's pointing at the target with the trail shoulder lower than the lead shoulder. Another very good strike here. And Greg, let's be prepared to play this one again because this is what I want to have happen. And what you're going to see is you're going to see this ball doesn't have a lot of curve. Let's play that again. You can see it start out on the right side of the target. It's got just a little bit of a, of a draw coming right down where I want it to go. Excellent uh, shot there. Excellent spin. Excellent start line. Just 1.9 degrees to the right. So the key to your distance, the key to your consistency is the angle of the chest and specifically preparing yourself to keep that chest down to the ground. Making sure that when you come through, it's pointing to the ground in front of the golf ball. And then when you're done, it's pointing to the target and the trail shoulder is below the lead shoulder. And when you do that, you'll improve your ball strike and you'll be proving it 